Welcome back to Yoshi Entertainment, everybody. So just recently, it hit the news that both Tucker Carlson and Don Lemon were fired from their respective news networks. Now, I'm going to be real honest. Whenever uh, this information was released, I thought this was like a spoof or a joke or something like that. I'm serious because I never actually thought that their networks would let them go. Now, I know that in the world of, you know, jobs, nobody's job is secure. Okay, anybody could end up with that pink slip, okay, with that, you know, little folder, whatever they hand you to let you know it's your walking paper. They want you out of there. At any time, stuff like that could happen, especially with all these clauses and whatnot, especially with these networks, whenever you are speaking on certain things and you are supposed to be bound by some kind of restrictions that you are constantly stepping out of because it is my understanding that both of them have always been saying things that um they probably shouldn't have been i'll just put it that way um as for tucker carlson we all know what he talks about okay all the stuff that he says all the stuff that he has said you know the controversy that he likes to get into sometimes i'd listen to his segments sometimes he'd say some things that i felt like were meaningful but sometimes i felt like he could have kept some of that stuff to himself nonetheless he did his job right he did what he had to do. Now, some people were trying to say, allegedly, I guess they were trying to clean it up and say, as for Mr. Carlson, that he wasn't actually fired, that he just decided to part ways from, you know, the network. I find that hard to believe when allegedly they wouldn't even let him make his last signing off statement. They just kind of released a statement saying that they were thanking him for his service and that, that was the end of that. Now, allegedly, he said something some time ago that cost the network over a million dollars worth of a lawsuit. Like I said before, that's just an allegation, rumor, allegedly, allegedly, and allegedly. Although it stands true that whenever you are talking about certain businesses, news outlets, information about somebody especially somebody big or like i said some kind of corporation that's very big if you're not careful about what comes out of your mouth there are repercussions okay that's just the way it is and i feel like he didn't take too much care in how he handled a lot of what he said on the air but anyways as for mr don lemon it's my understanding my very vague understanding but still that he wasn't always in that time slot that he shared with the two women co-hosts that he had but for some reason whenever they put him in there he was always saying stuff it seemed like every time we turned around there was pissing people off like that one comment he made about some woman not being in her prime anymore they kept looking at him like are you sure you want to continue that statement on the air because you know how we feel about people making comments about women being old and not being able to get jobs done because they're too old you know, like, don't forget, you're going to get old too, brother. You know what I'm saying? So I just felt like there was a need to kind of temper some of that stuff that was coming out of his mouth. Now, I'm not trying to say, you know, mute people or, you know, try to gatekeep what they say. But I am saying if you want to represent a certain network, speak to a certain people, it only makes sense to be careful what comes out of your mouth. Like people keep forgetting that, yes, while you have freedom of speech and you don't want people to tell you what to say, You've also got freedom of consequences. And if you say something that you really shouldn't, whether it's the truth or a fact or not, and we can argue whether it's a fact and if it's a fact, is it the truth and vice versa? But if you say something you're not supposed to, again, there are repercussions that come with that. I don't think he kept that in mind himself. Or maybe both of them felt like, despite what they said, that their networks would back them up. Again, we see that now that it doesn't matter who you are and how much time you've put in at a company when they are ready to have you go they're ready to have you go and some of these companies you know these you know workplaces they be setting people up okay they be putting people in positions where they know it's only a matter of time before they do or say something because they don't like where they are now and that'll give them a reason to fire them but anyways it's not like this is the end for either of them. They could either go to YouTube or get hired by some other company that is of their respective political party because this is all politics. Both of them came from a political background. And it was funny because when one of them got fired, I think one of the parties that, you know, was backing them up was celebrating. But then they turned around and had to cry just like the other one when theirs got fired. So it's like, you know. Don't be too quick to celebrate because, again, you, you make yourself prime candidate number one for it happening to you. But like I said, I don't think that they really thought that they were going to get fired. I certainly didn't. But it's not like it's the end of the road for either of them because I'm sure there's some company that will employ them to be able to say whatever they've been saying and then some more. And probably with less restrictions anyways. But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think and how y'all feel down in the comments below respectfully. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all have a blessed day.